weeks ago, I made a video about why trade school is the best for international students and immigrants coming to this country. And majority of the comments I received up to this moment were, you guys are asking me, like, I should list the school, you know, I should give you guys schools you can apply to. And today, I have five schools that are five that are, you know, that are accepting students right now. Uh, for September program, you guys can apply right now, and you only need your high school certification to apply to all these schools. And uh, I really appreciate your comments. It shows that you guys are, you know, you love me, you love my YouTube channel, you want me to grow, and I really appreciate every comment I received on that particular video. My name is Taiwo. Um, I'm an immigrant here in Canada and I talk more about blue collar jobs. So now if you guys want to go into trade, you want to go into anything trade in general, you know, truck driver, um, uh, apprenticeship, anyone. So now I talk more about that in Canada. So this is a blue collar job YouTube channel. So now and if you have any question to ask or you have any comment, just drop it on you know on any of my video. I read every comment. I read, I read it, and I will definitely reply to you. If I can't reply you, I will you know use it as a title on my next video so that you see that I will reply you through the um you know through my video. And I do question and answer every weekend. So you know, like Saturday, Sunday, I'm always at home. You know, I'll definitely reply. I'm always live, so I'll definitely reply to your question. So now, and the first one I'm going to uh, mention is the Old College of Agric and Technology in Alberta. So now, Old College uh, uh, is currently they are currently accepting students for international students for you know uh, for September program. So you can apply right now. Like I said, you only need um, your high school certification. You know that to apply for any of this program. And you know in Old College you can study. Uh, these are the, just few of uh, the program they offer. They have they have so many, but uh, I'm going to list. I'm going to you know link the website on the video and also in my description. You can study every equipment operator. You know every equipment operator. Maybe you want to drive every equipment. You need the certification and everything. You can go for their certification. You can go for the agri agricultural and heavy equipment diploma this is a diploma uh, course or uh, program so now you can apply as an international student the agri and heavy equipment um uh, diploma so the uh, technician so i'm sorry so now it's a diploma certification and you can apply anywhere as an international student so now and also uh, agricultural and heavy equipment certification so this is a certification program so it means that it's less than a year so now also students can apply or any anybody immigrants can apply for that also uh agricultural equipment technician and um this is this this is an apprenticeship so it means that you go to school and also you will um you will be working with a company but i don't think um an international student can apply for this you know back home but if you are here in canada you know you can definitely go for an apprenticeship program so now and also they have the animal ed uh, technology diploma so this is a diploma course so um an international student can go for that and so they have so many but i only list few you know because i don't want this video to be long i only do eight maybe maximum 10 minute videos now uh and the second college i'm going to mention is the lakeland college is in alberta also the reason is that i based in alberta so i know more about alberta so now than it. i've never been to other province before and i don't want to be saying giving you guys some things maybe guessing and everything so i hate guessing so now i want to give you the surest link the surest schools that are accepting all these schools i mentioned i went to apply about her, you know where you registered to enroll and i see that they have school they, this program are open and you anybody can you can still apply to any of this course right away so now the second one is the lakeland college so now lakeland college uh you know they offer trade 
and technology in apprenticeship. So they offer automotive service technicians so now, maybe just to take care of cars or to, you know, automotive service technicians now. And they offer FEDT technicians also, FEDT mechanic technicians and all that. And they offer part technicians. So now part technician is a gold mile where people don't really know that people, sorting of part, you know, like in Nigeria, if my vehicle has a problem, I'll go to the mechanic, then the mechanic will call the parts man, blah, 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 and all that. Hey, do you have parts for this? Do you have parts for that? That parts man is a course here. So now what the, the, the job of a part technician, because I'm into, I'm, I'm, I'm an heavy duty uh, technician myself. So I, most of these parts, we don't know them, but if I have a problem, with um with any of the machine i'm working on you know we we only know the part number we call it the part number and some i don't even know the name but i'll definitely i'll know the part number so now i'll just give the part number to the part you know guy to hey get me that part so that's just it is a course on his own and it's well they paid the same with fedt uh, you know, technician. So it's the same thing, especially if you work in a unionized company. So now, um, you, you, you will pay the same. And, um, yeah, they offer part technician and, uh, you know, LEDT, uh, every equipment technician and automotive service. They offer, um, agricultural equipment technician also. So you can, you can go for that. So now anyone that you feel like is okay for you. Yeah. You can go for it. And the, the, uh, another school I'm going to mention that here is the, my third, uh, third school. So the third college is the Mohawk College. The Mohawk, uh, Mohawk College is in Ontario. So you, um, you, they, they have the aviation technician. So if you want to go into the aviation line, so now they have the aviation technician. They have, um, civil engineering so they have computer engineering they have the eating refrigerator and air conditioner air conditioning technician so i think someone asked this on my last video so they have this they i think it's h r a t so so now they have that they have, they have power engineering so now power engineering also is a course whereby people don't really focus on but power engineering pays i have a friend that is a power engineering and um and yeah the pay he like is 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 rich so uh so like a power engineering um is this course whereby people don't really focus on but yeah especially in alberta where i'm based you know there's high demand for power engineer so now and um so they have a quality engineering technician and you know, it depends. So, uh, quality engineering also is a very, very nice course you now, and it's something. These are courses that people don't really focus on, and they, you know, you they are, they are well, well paid. And the the fourth school I'm going to mention is the Keanu College. That is my school. So now they they have the power engineering. Like I said, I have a friend, I have so many colleagues that are into power engineering because I based in Alberta, and and Keanu College is where. I study and um, uh, they have the power engineering, they have welding, you know, if you want to become a welder, so they have it, you know, you can go for piano and uh, they have the heavy equipment technician, so, and they have the peep trade program also, depending on the one you want. So the, uh, the, the fifth school I'm going to mention, and this will be the last. So is the Saskatchewan Polytechnic. So they have bricklayer. So they have carpentry and they have industrial mechanic and power engineering. So technology. So now power engineering is something that people don't really focus on, but, uh, <laughs> they are well paid, like I said, because you work in oil companies and, you know, anybody working in oil companies, uh, they, 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 they are well treated so uh, here you can go choose um, all this college I mentioned are currently accepting students so you can go for any of them and uh, I believe I wish you all the best of luck and one thing before you choose any program check that it's something you can do like don't just choose because you want to come to Canada just choose because you have passion for it and you know because 
these are trade skills so it requires energy it required a lot of you know uh stuff it required your you you have to bring in your hundred percent and um yeah I wish you all the best of luck. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you love my video, please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, drop a comment below. I'll definitely read your comments and I'll reply to your comments. So yeah, take care. Bye-bye.